As Kenya embraces genetically modified organisms, commonly known as GMO seeds, debate is on in Uganda as to whether the country should take the same route. Simply put, a genetically modified organism is an animal or plant whose DNA has been altered using genetic engineering. To GMO advocates, the move is a good answer to the country's food security risks, recently escalated by the prolonged drought and population expansion. We see this technology has potential to address malnutrition. It has potential to address effects of climate change, especially drought. It has potential also for food safety uh, to address other issues. Given that our population is increasing, we need also to match that with increasing food production. It means we may have to go for more innovative ways, including use of technology. Others, however, assert that Uganda's fairly good soils and climate can still support better crop and animal productivity in its natural state, given better management and a general transition from subsistence agriculture currently practiced by a bulk of the farming masses. Other experts are concerned about the regulatory gaps which are already manifesting, especially at this time, when our neighbors are embracing GMOs. I have a worry. The worry is the capacity to handle them. As I speak now, we already have GMO products on market in Uganda, especially processed, uh, processed uh, products. They're already in Uganda, which are GMO. And uh, currently, we're even developing guidelines on the importation of those GMO. When we're importing those products, what are those specifications that those products should be having? Because sometimes we don't have any, any, any guideline. Things are coming in. We don't have any guidelines at the moment that is governing the importation of those GMOs. While GMO products are here, experts note that the seeds are not in the market yet, but may not be far. As far as the seed is concerned, these seeds that farmers use, at the moment, we don't have any GMO seed in Uganda and uh, there are some trials being done at National Agricultural Research Organization. They are doing some trials and we already have a bill which is not yet assented to by His Excellency, the President of Uganda. So that's why we are moving very fast that no, as we wait for the bill to be an act, let us first be developing guidelines to safeguard the population of Uganda. To crop scientists, at some point the country has to make the GMO embracing decision, given the tough realities where much of the agriculture environment has been altered. Uganda has good rainfall, it has good climate, it has good soil. But is that true anymore? I think things are changing as you may know. When we started work on drought tolerant varieties, developing drought tolerant varieties, more than 10 years ago, people actually thought it was not necessary because we're a green country, we don't have drought. Our soils are very fertile. But that is changing. I think we are now facing the, uh, we are now facing the effect of climate change, which is uh, manifesting itself in terms of drought, in terms of floods, in terms of uh, shortened seasons, which are not beginning as they used to be. So the reality is things have changed. Number two, also our soil fertility has declined. Yeah, so the problems we are dealing with now are not the same problems we are dealing in the past. So the issue of uh, we have a good climate, we have a good soil, I think that is changing. And it will even become worse in the future. So the best way is for research to be ahead of development and develop technology that can be able to catch up and address some of these problems. And that is what we do. There are however still many with reservations about GMOs anchoring much of their argument to their impact on the environment, human health, and the looming risk of a creation of a huge dependence of the farming community to seed companies. The question, however, remains, which position would Uganda take, given that a section of MPs led by Bufumbira County MP James Nsababuturo are already planning to introduce a bill prohibiting genetically modified organisms, even after the House passed the GMO bill in 2018. <music>